Hey guys, welcome back. Today is the third day of the Platinum Jubilee here in UK and we are going to London with train to see what's happening there. I'm sure there are so many people all over there and I just want to go and mix in the crowd in the central and show you around. Let's see if uh, we can just go get close to the Buckingham Palace. I'm not so sure about it, but we're going to try it. So let's head to London. These are some vintage cars that they are uh, exhibiting in front of the train station from LNER trains, which also we bought the ticket for today for the London. So you can see how beautiful these cars are. What's it mean to While waiting for the train, we decided to get some coffees because we just woke up early morning and we didn't get time to have coffee at home. So we just said that let's get it outside. Hi, uh, do you have oat latte? Oat. Yeah, we do oat milk. With oat milk, yeah. Yeah, one oat latte and one cappuccino. Is that on um, large, medium or Medium, please. Thank you. Just uh, oat milk for the carrot latte and then that one would be normal. No, that's okay. Thank you. Look what a cute puppy is just sitting next to us. Hello. <coughs> oh, Noda. Nova. Nova. Hi, Nova. What are you He's so cute. Oh, this is boy. <laughs> this is Noda. No bus, sorry. So this is a fast train which is supposed to take us to London straight without any stop in 55 minutes. I really love LNER train line because it's so clean, so bright and so comfortable. If we wanted to go with a normal train, it would have taken around 1 hour and 40 minutes because it just goes a bit slower and it stops in all the stations. By the way, I always love to make uh, warm sandwiches homemade and bring it outside whenever I'm having a trip or going anywhere uh, that I cannot get breakfast at home. I always prepare nice sandwiches, warm, and I just have it on the way. Uh, also, my family, also my son and my husband, they do not like cold sandwiches from outside, so they really love the way that I make sandwiches. Usually, I make eggs uh, with tomato with lettuce uh, all the salad and it's really really warm 
delicious and much, much better and definitely more healthier. So guys, as you see, it's about five minutes that we have just stopped in the middle of the trip for no reason. Uh, I just happened to see there is a teenage girl just walking on the rail track, uh, which is very, very dangerous and odd. Like everybody was really shocked of seeing something like that. She's not supposed to be here because if you see, uh, there is no uh, way and space that if there is any train coming from any sides she definitely going to get hit so it's really dangerous i think that is why our train is a stop because they just noticed a little teenage girl on the track so i just decided to search some latest news about lner disruption and i just found the latest tweet on lner updates uh, which is saying due to trespassers on the railway between London King Cross and Peterborough, all lines are blocked. So this is the reason. Definitely the girl that I saw. Didn't have these shots here as well. young adult on the track and we're just trying to keep this vulnerable young adult as safe as possible by not moving trains. Obviously you have seen people outside the track because we're looking for this person. So if I want to update you guys, we are still here, they are still searching and there is no sign of her. So yeah, let's see what happens. so funny because i just told you that we decided to come with a fast train so that we can just reach london in 55 minutes we were supposed to reach about 12 p.m now it's 10 to 1 and we are still uh, stopping in the middle of the way Anyway, it's very strange that they cannot just see her on the rail uh, track because uh, it's so visible. I think she just went out of the rail track. That's why they are not able to see her anywhere. Anyway, the bar is open uh, because we are stopping here for a long time. So we just we decided to go to grab some water and something. Trespasser on the line. However, the police is looking for this person. بچه ها داره میگه که هنوز داره دنبال دنبال همون شخص میگردن هنوز بچه
finally we are here in London at the King Cross station, one of the biggest international train station in London. Next we are going to take the underground and go to the central just right next to the train station. To be comfortable to go anywhere that we want because we have no idea which places we are going to be so we are going to get a day pass each of us so that we can easily just uh, roam around everywhere get the bus get any underground to any station this is really convenient The first station we are going to go from here is St. James Park, which is next to the Buckingham Palace. We are here at King Cross and we are going to St. James Park Station. Some of London underground station they are really huge and you need to walk a lot to just reach to another destination or another train. It's almost like an airport but it's a good thing because it's a good exercise I believe and you get to walk a lot. So it is very important to have comfortable shoes if you are about to walk a lot. Today, we just finished the day and I checked, we just walked about 12,000 steps, which is not bad. As you can see, there are a lot of crowds here around Buckingham Palace. We cannot go towards the Buckingham Palace from the park side because it's just closed and only ticket holders for today they can go, which obviously we didn't buy any tickets, so we are not going from that side. And this is the queue for the ticket holders for the Buckingham Palace. I'm not really sure if I can get close to the palace today with these scenes that I see around. But anyway, let's go and grab something cool because it's uh, sunny and hot today and I really feel to uh, drink something really cool. As you can see here, the police is helping the bus driver to just turn. This is a big bus, London bus, which is a company, tourist company, which you can just get the, get the online ticket and roam around the London. I did that once and it's really amazing experience. 
out of question now Gotta get to where I need to be No questions Life isn't one last night You can be who you want to be Follow me oh. Keep on running And this is the very famous Ritz in London which is of course very expensive and very chic for example if you want to book an afternoon tea here at Ritz you are looking at something between 67 pound 200 pound for each person depending uh, your booking and what kind of orders you want to have for your afternoon tea and by the way it's almost fully booked so you should book in really really advanced like two months in advance unfortunately i could not get any closer to the uh, buckingham palace so we decided to come to oxford uh, in central and go to selfridges i'm going to show you some of the shops along the way These are some Punjabi cyclists that they are celebrating with music and with cycling uh, in Central. This is John Lewis's store, one of the biggest department store all around UK, which I love. They've got everything from furniture to uh, kitchen stuff, from uh, decor, home decor, and whatever that you can think of. And of course, this is the very famous Disney shop. And uh, as you see, the Buzz Lightyear statue is at the window because the Buzz Lightyear is about to launch uh, so soon in cinema. That's why you see the Buzz statue here. and the U.S. Candy World, which is so much loved in here. And finally, the shop that I always love, uh, Selfridges. I always, when I come to London, I would love to go and have a look and have some shopping inside. So let's get inside and see what's happening. <music> At the entrance, there is a perfume stands, which uh, when you just enter, it's the air is full of perfumes and they give you so much perfume choices that you really then don't understand and don't realize the smells of each perfume. Next are the cosmetics and makeup stands here all the famous brands as you can see so let's move into my favorite part which is food hall
Here in food hall, you can find everything related to food. All kinds of food from different countries around the world. My favorite part is of course cakes and cupcakes. Today is a special because I'm going to buy a piece of cake from here and have it with my coffee uh, for the birthday of my son because when it was his birthday, I didn't get to eat the cake because my son and my husband, they are super healthy. They do not eat cakes, so I could not eat cake. But I promised myself next time when I'm going to Selfridges, I'm going to buy a very delicious piece of cake and have it there. Anyways, there are so many choices here that you really get confused what to order, but I have made up my mind, so I know what I want. So let me show you around before buying my cake so you can have an idea of this place. I really love shopping here because all the food and all the stuff that they sell here are really, really high quality and i have peace of mind that whatever i buy from here it's really great this section is for a caviar and uh, smoked salmon or raw salmon also you always find many people dining here this section is for uh, pies for quiche for all kinds of meaty products, red meat products and pastries. This part is so many salads, different kinds of salads, uh, veggie salads, seafood salads. This part, of course, is for East Asia. As you can see, all kinds of different of sushi rolls, sashimi, and uh, seafood. And this is, of course, uh, Turkish sweets and uh, Arabic food or Lebanese food. And this section is Indian food, which is really my favorite. There are so many food choices here that really once or twice is not enough to come here and order. You have to just keep coming here and each time order from one section. And my very favorite part is raw seafood section, which you can just buy and take it home and prepare it. I love different kinds of seafood. Unlike my husband and my son, that they just like fish. I love these crab legs. I love the scallops. I tried them before here and they are really amazing. Anyway, today I'm not planning to buy anything from here because we are gonna stay a long time here in London and I'm afraid they might, uh, you know, go bad because I'm also supposed to see one of my friends for the evening. Here you can see all the fresh organic uh, vegetables and fruits. So back to the cake section. It's time to buy my piece of cake and I have decided to buy a crepe cake 
and specifically I chose the Earl Grey crepe cake. I never tried it before and I'm really looking forward to see how it tastes. Earl Grey crepe and uh, how much is the honey cake at 50% off? Yeah. 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 Sitting by the deep blue ocean Thinking that I couldn't be Anywhere better and I don't know whether It's right or wrong And I can't It's impossible for me To go on Without you I feel no Well you'll understand I'm facing my fears Well I lose you I saw the Guys, this crab cake is really soft, really, really fresh, and it's amazing. I don't know how to describe it, but you must try crab cake. It's one of the most delicious cakes ever. And this cake really tastes like Earl Grey. It's just like that. I'm having Earl Grey tea with coffee. It's so funny. Waiting just to see your face. After Surf Ridges, we met our friends in Central and we decided to have a light food for the evening in a Turkish restaurant. We really had so much fun time with my friends, especially I was seeing them after months. So after spending a really fun day, it's time for us to go back home. After spending a long day outside, you always want to go back to your comfortable corner at home and relax. I really do hope that you enjoyed this vlog with me. So until the next vlogs, take care. In the darkest night I called your name In the darkest night I needed you most And that's when you came I walk in a sweat